guys. This is Ali Kassam from uh, Director of Technology at OneLedger. I'm here with one of our senior uh, software front-end developers, uh, Olex. Olex, nice seeing you. Uh, what we're going to take you guys through today is um, is the ability to connect the ledger to the one wallet. Now, the reason why we're doing this in with two people on the call is because obviously COVID-19 is happening. People are dispersed, working from home. So I have Olex for helping me out as he's got some of the production level hardware on him with um, the One Ledger Bolos app for Ledger installed on it. So he's going to kind of help me walk through the different processes and showcase uh, the different features. So go ahead and log in, Olex, into your wallet. I'm just going to create a new account. Okay, fine. Just sure. over the whole process. Okay, always remember to either download or copy that um, passphrase. And so what you see here is three different section, subsections. So you can create accounts for the one ledger um, wallet segment. So go ahead and do that, um, Alex. Now, Olex probably has some accounts previously set up. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's brand new. Okay, so go ahead and do it. So you're going to have to mint some currency here, right? Eh? To do the the send, so go ahead and mint something. Right. So remember, this is on our Kronos um, site, so it's testnet where we have the capability of minting our own tokens. So when developers are using um, our testnet or people want to try out our wallet, they can mint currency. Obviously, in Kronos version, there is no minting currency. We have a fixed supply, um, and that mint button won't be presented. So go ahead, and um, you maybe want to add. Okay, so that's a subsection for one ledger accounts. Then we have a section for Ethereum accounts, and then we finally have a section for the ledger accounts. Now, the ledger accounts, you can't create them the way you would create normal accounts. What you need to do is on that left side, there's a hardware connect button. So go ahead and click that, Olex. Um, and you'll come to this screen. Now, Olex, do you already have your um, ledger connected? Yeah, that's right. Can you show us what you've done so far on the ledger side? Uh, I'm basically just launched this Volus app. So I see this sign on the device saying, I hope you guys can see that, that one ledger is ready. So can you go back out of that and then show them how to find that? So basically you're traversing through all the apps that are installed on the ledger. It could be Ethereum, Bitcoin, and then you get to one ledger, correct? And then you select and you dive into it, correct? Yeah, okay, I just exited to the main menu. Yeah. So you can see this Bolus one ledger up. Yeah. Now I'm gonna Double click, right? Yeah, you need to click both left and right buttons. Okay. So you're going to see the confirmation asking you to open the application. Okay. All right, perfect. And then one ledger is ready. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Yep, perfect. So it's all hooked up. It's ready to go on that side. And so let me just flip back to your screen. Yep. All right. So. And now show us what's going on with the connect. So how are you using the connect? Okay, so the first thing you do is you probably want to connect it to Ledger Live to install the app. So it's kind of giving you the installation process on what happens through Ledger Live and selecting it. And then finally, what we just saw with um, with Olex, obviously these screenshots are not updated, but application is now ready. So once you go through that, you next next through it, um, now you're sitting at a phase where it's actually reading the accounts off the app itself. So Olex has an, uh, one of the accounts there, account number two, that has 9,787 OLT and some odd change. So he's going to select that one um, and click unlock. Now you can go through, as you can see, hold on, before you do that, um, you can go through and you can see that there's several different accounts that you can select from. So you can go next all the way through. We present five just because... Generally, you're not going to go through all of these uh, um, um, all of these accounts and have money in each and every one of them. You could, but a lot of people don't. Um, what we find that you know showing the first five is is good enough. The other thing to note is remember um, this is just like the HD wallet that's being created on the one wallet side. This is also an HD wallet, which means that as long as you have your 24 word uh, passphrase for the ledger, you can utilize any of these accounts wherever the OLT app, uh, sorry, the OLT um, 
uh, currency is uh, accepted. So if it's another wallet that's accepting the OLC mainnet current, sorry, the OLT mainnet currency, you can use it there as well just by using the 24 word passphrase. So go ahead and unlock this. And let's see what happens. So you need to put in your password, obviously, because you want to use the connected to the um, the one wallet. Right, and then there it is. Now it's in the in the ledger um, in the ledger section. We have actually defaulted the way we are uh, creating the account names. In the future, we'll allow you to change the names to see how you, as you as you feel free. But for the time being, we've actually used our own naming convention. So, Olex, I'm going to send you um, my uh, account to show how you can actually do a send. So, I'm going to show, I'm going to send you, um, sorry, um, uh, an address from my my one ledger account here. So, here's my one ledger, my one wallet, and I'm going to copy an address from there, and I'm going to go ahead. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and send that over to Olex so he can actually send it to this currency. So you can see. This. Actually, we're going to use this one, which has only 10,000, which is named incorrectly as ETH1, but we'll use that one so it's easier to see. All right, so I copy that. I'm going to send it to Olex through Slack, which is not on the screen. You guys can't see that. So, Alex, I slacked it to you. If you want to just quickly yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have the audience. Okay. So go ahead and just go to a send transaction. It's going to close this pop-up yeah. window. Cool. So here under the blockchain section, you have to select Ledger uh, or Ledger OLT. And then it allows you to select the accounts that are there. Now, I think there's only one account that's present there. So go ahead, account OLT2. Right. And there's the balance for it. So now he's going to copy my address in the two field. Just want to confirm last digits. Yeah, DDFD. That's perfect. And then, I don't know, send me 87, right? Because you have 87 there. 87 OLT. So it's something that people can see. Okay. Now show us on the device the confirmation, right? Because you need to put yeah. the password in on the device. Sorry. Let me just, let me just really quickly, before you do that, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So it's asking for the signature for the signing. So accept that. Or go next, rather. Yeah, you see the, you see and the, then the OLT amount? amount, 87. Go next. Yeah, you can just click it and I'll tell you. Yeah, the address. Sorry, slow, slow down because it's it's not it's not. Uh, yeah, yeah, the one uh, one unit of uh, for the thing, the address, perfect recipient address. Uh, just and then approve. Yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy because uh, the internet connection's out, but yeah, just go ahead and approve that. Okay, it says one ledger is ready. And then what does your wallet say on that end? Yeah, trans yeah transaction, transaction completed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So it immediately comes, and then you want to click on the transaction to show us what's going on there. Yeah, I'm just going to exit the full screen mode so I'm able to show you the browser window. And there you can see it. So 87 OLT has been sent across. Now um, I'll show you my wallet to see if I've accepted it there. So it went into this ETH. Now, obviously, because it's been sitting here, it hasn't updated. But here you go, 87 OLT with the fee associated to it. And this is the block height. And I can also see that transaction when I click there. So that's the block height. Um, the transaction is here. So if you click on the transaction hash, that's the exact transaction. So um, that's how everything connects with um, with uh, the ledger and the um, one wallet. Fortunately, you didn't get to see him actually close that transaction out because I was focusing on the on Olex and the ledger itself. But you can see it's seamless. It's very easy to use. Um, very similar, like to any of the other wallets that you guys are currently probably using. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. So any questions, concerns, hit us up on, um, the comment section, uh, make sure you subscribe to one ledger on YouTube and hit us up on Twitter as well as, um, telegram on one ledger connect. Thanks for watching.